This is Obi. Obi has no chill. We take Benny and Obi on lots of hikes and try to wear them out. They play in the yard, but still, so much energy. Do you have a dog that you can't wear out? Does your yard sometimes look like this? Does your mudroom need a mudroom? Then head on down to your local hardware store and turn these materials into this, a bona fide carpet mill. Materials you'll need for this project include two by fours, plywood, four inch PVC pipe, timber posts, a copper tube, old carpet, fishing line, darning needle, an eye bolt, and tools. For tools, you'll need a saw, measuring tape, markers, a drill, a driver, drill bits, nails and screws. Altogether, I spent about $130 for the raw materials, and that's in 2022. We had the tools already, so that's something to consider. Okay. Step one, measure your dog. Halfway up his backside. Okay, two and a half feet. Right. This will help you build a carpet mill with the right length. You don't have to stain the wood, but I wanted our dogs to have something a little fancy. Our carpet mill will be used inside, and I knew it would live in the room I built it in since it's heavy and hard to move around. You build yours wherever is convenient. Measure the width of your frame to know how wide to cut your plywood. Right now, plywood is really expensive, so I used a $12 piece of dry erase board instead. The front and back had different textures, and I ultimately decided to use the back, but we'll see that later. Make sure you have four to five inches of each corner sticking out to make room for your rollers. Once your plywood or dry erase board is cut to size, measure the space needed for your rollers. Then mark and cut the PVC pipe accordingly.
I cut my rollers a tad too long and they're just a little bit too snug. So I trim them later off camera. And not a minute too soon before everything turned to ice. Next, cut the landscaping timber the same length as the PVC pipe. Then fit each piece inside. Secure them in place with screws. Drill holes at each corner for the copper tubing. Mark the length and cut to size. Once you have four of these, put them in place and hammer them if you need to. Now you can put your rollers on. It's a little awkward, but you can do it. Once your rollers are on, center your board and secure it with screws. I overbuilt this thing, but I want to make sure it lasts a long time for Ovi. Now for the legs. This part is really awkward, but I found it useful to prop the front on something taller and the back on something shorter. And now your frame is done. Except for the harness, but we'll get to that. Another day, another play. Well, I don't know about you, but I think it's time to get the carpet on this carpet mill. I'm going to show you the trial and error of this process, even though I ended up using a different carpet that way you can decide if something you have on hand will work or if you need to go buy something. I really wanted to use some old carpet we already had, but it ultimately proved too stiff and clunky and didn't rotate easily. But the process of measuring and cutting to size will still apply to whatever material you use. Oh look, a visit from my foreman. He stopped by to inspect the job site. I hope he approves. I used fishing line and a darning needle to attach each end of the carpet. A darning needle is used in crafts and has a blunt end, but is still able to puncture the carpet. Now it's time for Obi's first introduction. What'd we make for you? Good boy! What if, what if I just made a glorified dog bed? Ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. 
I put duct tape over the fishing line so it wouldn't poke Obi's feet. And I'm showing this step in case you decide to do something similar. But ultimately, I used a different technique. Another day, another play. So I decided to invest in a thinner, more flexible rug material, which looks like it'll slide more easily. This was $24 at Lowe's. We ended up using the extra as a floor rug in the house, so we're getting a lot of use from it. If you're working on a project and realize it isn't going to plan, it's okay to undo some of your work and try something else. It's about this time I realized the underside of my board was a lot more slippery than the top. So I decided to turn it over. It was so much easier to cut too. The rug itself wasn't quite long enough, so I attached a smaller piece in the middle. The old carpet had shed everywhere, so before I did anything else, the room got a good vacuuming. One thing that's important to remember, and I reminded myself a few times during this process, Obi has the right to not like this. It's not Obi's job to take to this immediately just because I worked hard on it. So if you're building this for your dog and you put your sweat, blood, and tears into it, just remember that your dog doesn't understand it and might not like it right away. So be patient with them, take your time, let them get used to the idea, and then eventually Eventually, they can use it for exercise the way you envisioned. This time, I attached the carpet ends using a different technique, with fewer pointy ends sticking up for Obi to step on. Another day, another play. Now it's time to get this harness on. By this time, I had run out of usable 2x4s, which is ideally what you'd use. So I'm just using scrap wood that I found in the attic. Drill a hole for your eye bolt in the center of your top board. This step is optional, but I'm adding stain because Obi deserves pretty things. And now that it's all ready to go, I wonder how Obi will like it. Yeah.
Come on. Yeah. Come on. Maybe it does need to be raised up more. Okay, we'll raise it up for you, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> oh, you <no. laughs> Oh, come here. Come here. All right, come. Come on. Hey. Let's leave him with one good, more good memory on it. Oh, my God. We did eventually add 45 degree support boards to the harness frame after this video was filmed. Obi actually did a really great job for being as scared as he is and with enough work I think he'll really come to like it but for now it's back to playing outside if you're going to build something like this I hope this video helps I tried to include each step of the process I personally found lots of videos showing carpet mills once they were already built which was helpful but I couldn't find a full tutorial anywhere. So this video serves that purpose. Let me know if your dogs would love something like this or if they'd run away like Obi did. Too cute. Thanks for watching and subscribe to see future projects. Take care.